React's key prop can do more than help with list. It can reset your component, like, completely. Turns out, key is React's built-in nuke button, and nobody told you. You've probably used key inside map before. That's React 101. But deep in the docs, buried under a section called you might not actually need an effect, is a line that changes everything. React uses key to decide if a component is the same as before. If the key changes, React throws out the old component and builds a brand new up. Fresh fresh state, new lifecycle, no memory in the past. It's like a soft reset button for your UI. Let's say you have a user form that needs to reset every time the user changes. The classic way to do it is like this. You have a use effect, and every time the user ID changes inside of the component, you actually set the data, fetch the data, and set it inside of the local state. And this sort of works. You're manually resetting everything. You're hoping React doesn't trip over a stale state. And now you've got an ESLint disabled comment haunting your diff. Now, here's a better way. Your component user form has a key on the user ID with the user object. Done. React sees a new key, it unmounts the old form and mounts a fresh one. State resets automatically. You don't have to write a single line of cleanup. This isn't just for form. I've used it to switch accounts without a page reload, fix image caching bugs in React Native, reset animations when toggling components. Anytime you need a full reset, key handles it. Now, if your component state is tangled and your, effect, your effects are getting messy, don't patch around it. Just give it a new key, React does the rest.